Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And I haven't done this in a while, but this is a kind of like a Manchester it was an injury update. Um, we're going to try and do it at least a bit more regularly, um, where we basically just give you sort of injury updates to see where players are, um, certainly as part of the main 23 squad, um, when they expect to be coming back, etc. You know, are they ready for an upcoming weekly game, etc. So if I've got time, some pre recorded weekly injury update videos are, are part of the plan um so that we kind of know where 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 we are where we stand and the reality is right now manchester united do have an injury crisis um certainly in the midfield area um scott mctominay as you can see um according to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, scott mctominay is not going to be fit um for um the game against chelsea tomorrow um there is possibility he might be available next week so but you know he's been out for a bit um, and Scott McTominay, like Paul Pogba, who we'll come on to later, um, has had injury issues. They usually have a one long period um, uh, over the season. And I think this again comes to the idea of when you're playing certain players um, regularly all the time, they're going to get injuries. And it's a testament, to be honest, the fitness levels of Fred and Bruno Fernandes, because Fred and Bruno have pretty much played most of the games this season and yet they have have not they have not been injured i don't think fred i can't has fred ever even been injured you know so scott mctominay like i said unfortunately is not going to be fit for the chelsea game um when he'll be back you know it, it remains to be seen to be honest it really 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 does um so possibly next week so but you know it's 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 i think it's touch and go scott mctominay right now which gives obviously manchester united difficulties regarding um, midfield options because we only have obviously Matic, um, Fred and Bruno right now that are, are fit midfielders. Um, moving on here, obviously Donny van der Beek. Um, a bit more positive Donny van der Beek. It looks like Donny van der Beek, according to Oli, um, was in training. So there is a good possibility that like he could be available. And I think that's very big when it comes to the game um, uh, against Chelsea because, like I said, we only have... Matic, Fred, and um, uh, and Bruno Fernandez, and to be honest, you know, you do say, you know, can Matic really play um, two f uh, two or three games in a row? I, I don't think you c he can really. Um, I don't think he should. And so I think if Van der Beek plays alongside Fred with Bruno um, in front of them, um, I think that that would be a lot more um, uh, a dangerous. Um, midfield um, and a better midfield than obviously Matic playing who is a solid midfielder but I just think that um, I just don't think he can play two three games because if he himself gets injured and this is where squad rotation is, is key if Matic gets injured we're now down to two fit midfielders you know we do have a midfield crisis problem right now and it's important that we rotate so I think that it's positive news for Van der Beek it looks like he's going to be coming back um, as an aside I'll just add because um, I forgot to add the image here, one matter actually, one matter um, also out as well. That is a problem. One matter is also out as well. Um, so even trying to rest Bruno Fernandes or, or or get him in is a problem because matter is obviously injured as well. And it's weird because um, what I find strange is that like half of these players that were injured were not injured during the game. I think Pog was injured during the game. I think McTominay did take a knock during the game, but um, Cavani, Van Der Beek and Mata, all players were not injured during game time. So I don't know what's going on with training, whether it's training or whether it's um, it's, it's 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 part of the medical issue in, in Manchester United. So, but the drop of night flies and it's, it's, it's a problem. You know, it really is. But why Mata um, is, is, is basically is out as well. And I'm not sure when he's going to be back either. So just putting that out there. Edison Cavani will not, unfortunately, be fit against Chelsea, which is, for me, a massive blow. Um, we really could have used Cavani against... Um, I mean, he is, he is. I think from what I've done, he's touching pitch, possibly like training, so we'll see, because miracles can happen. So that might be an indication that, you know, with Cavani, with the professional as somebody is, he might be available, you know. We don't know. There's still, still time. Um you just don't know. And obviously, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wants to keep things close to his chest. Um, but it's a difficult one. It really, really is. It's a difficult one. And I think that um, I would prob I would be very surprised if Cavani did play. And to be honest, I think that if you ask me, 
Um, I'd rather he rest and be fit to play against Manchester City, for example, next week. Because we have a co- quite a lot of games coming up. AC Milan home and away. City, I think we've got West Ham as well. We've got Leicester in the Cup. There are a lot of big games coming in for Manchester United right now. And we need to rotate, but we also need to not necessarily rush players to come back from injury um, if they're not fully fit. Otherwise, they're going to be out for a longer period of time. So for me... Um, or maybe put Cavani on the bench, for example. That might also be an option. And I'd be a second half sub like it was against Southampton. That's a possibility. Um, Paul Pog was obviously still out. Well, it's obviously hamstring injury. Um, uh, Ollie did say he's doing. He did. He's touched grass basically, so he is back. Um, but he's. He's. It's still. He's. He's still not um, fit enough to obviously start. So I don't think we're going to see Pog. I still think the Paul Pog was going to be out for at least um, two more weeks. Um, so I think he's probably going to miss Manchester City, which is a shame because, you know, if he could be fit for City, that would be amazing. But I just don't think he's going to be. Um, so I think another two weeks of Paul Pog before we really see him coming back in, which in one sense is good because it'll be coming to the, you know, we'll be having, like, what, nine, ten games left this season. We'll get into the busier period of the season now. Last nine, ten games where we need to really solidify top four. Hopefully even, you know... Um, get deeper into the Europa League and see what happens, you know. So we we at least hopefully will have him back fit um, for those games. But yeah, poor Pogba definitely is going to play at Chelsea and I think will probably be a good two weeks. But he has touched grass, which is good. Um, goodness knows what's happening with this man, um, to be honest. Um, I know I said I'd, I'd have I'd matter in because matter is injured, but uh, I've got no idea what's happening to Phil Jones, really. Um, he's still injured as well. Um, got no idea. I think Romero is also in the injury front as well. Um, I think both players want to leave, to be honest. Um, uh, him, Romero and him. And to be fair, Romero probably should have been granted that in the summer and he wasn't. I think that was wrong um, because so he was been a good servant to Manchester United. But Phil Jones, I've got no idea where this guy is or what he's doing. Um, uh, only that he's still out injured um, and um, he's been injured pretty much all season. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's see what happens with Phil. Um, maybe he's, he's come back. I don't know, but uh, you know, it's it's. I don't think it's going to be part of all his plans going forward. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. And obviously, you can see this is Phil Jones. This is Phil Jones right here. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, remember for you to channel to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devils. Do let me know if you like these injury updates, um, or if you want me to keep you guys updated with the injuries at Manchester United, or maybe uh, you want me to go in further regarding the the actual mechanics or the medicine behind the injuries of these Manchester United players. That is something I'm interested to do. So let me know. Have a nice day, everyone. Remember to like, share, subscribe, smash the notification button, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitch, we're also on Instagram as well. Links in the description. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.